Even in this day and age with advancements in technology and new investigative techniques, a soon-to-be sheriff in southwest Louisiana says he's seeing more financial crimes being committed. With those crimes being traceable with some time and effort, why do crooks still try? Investigators say it's all about greed. KFDM 6 News anchor Kimberly Roosley reports. Forging stolen personal checks, using school money as their own, outright stealing. These aren't crimes only committed in a time where financial institutions weren't as strict or an organization's record keeping wasn't as thorough. They continue today. The criminals have become smarter and, and, and they figured out ways that uh, they can try to, you know, uh, cheat the system. We traveled to Calcasieu Parish where Sheriff-elect Chief Deputy Gary Stitch Guillory says financial crimes in general are becoming more common. There's a lot of money transactions involved in today's society, way more money transactions than what were involved in the past. The Calcasieu Parish Sheriff's Office has six investigators in its financial crimes unit. They can see 20 to 25 cases per investigator per month. Back in July of 2022, detectives got wind of theft at a school within the parish. Vendors were calling, complaining they were never paid for services. Investigators set their sights on 37-year-old school employee Anna B. Terrio of Iowa. She was writing checks to herself, paying her bills instead of paying the bills of the school. Authorities say Terrio stole over $23,000 by making unauthorized transactions, cash disbursements, and forging checks. Months later in November, she turned herself in, facing charges of theft and seven counts of forgery. Her case is currently with the DA's office. Also in July of 2022, detectives got a tip involving this duo, two forgery suspects whose identity is unknown. Detectives say the case initially started with the two stealing from a car parked at a baseball field in Texas. Then detectives think they cashed stolen and forged checks at multiple banks across Calcasieu Parish. They were spotted at a bank in De Quincey. De Quincey police located the vehicle that they were in. Uh, got into a high-speed pursuit that gave chase. Uh, the, the vehicle was chased into Texas. Uh, the pursuit was terminated because of unsafe weather conditions. Surveillance images are pretty much all investigators have to go on, hoping someone can identify the driver's distinctive hand tattoo. Guillory believes bad habits will lead to their arrest. There's an old saying, you can't go to the well too often, and sometimes when they get away with it, they go to the well a little too often. Eventually, they're going to get caught. With better surveillance cameras, more attentive eyes, and paper trails, you'd think suspects wouldn't try to steal money. But Guillory and, says and it boils down to this. African. It's just greed and an easy crime. And law enforcement will continue to work to track them. You know, the challenge for law enforcement is to always try to stay ahead of that criminal element. And uh, we work hard at it. We're pretty good at it. And you know what? Sometimes they get away. Sometimes we catch our, our person. Oh, yeah. Kimberly Roosley, yeah, KFDM 6 crime, News. In area. CPSO is still looking for that duo of forgery suspects. If you can identify them or their vehicle, give investigators a call.